Yeah, I mean, it's a total overreaction, but at least they prepared you for it. They said it early, Skip. They said it's an overreaction because they know that the best team in the National Football League currently is the San Francisco 49ers. And, I mean, they did everything they could to show you that the other day, both offensively and defensively. And going out to Pittsburgh, playing a, a really solid Pittsburgh team, um, and Mike Tomlin, and going out there and having their way. T.J. Watt had a defensive player of the year type day, but it wasn't enough to help his team. I mean, we got clips. Play, run my clips for me, please. <laughs> you got because clips. they will show. Yeah, come on now. They will show what a team looks like Damn. when they're in the number one team. It's a judge of how great a player is isn't what he can do when he got the ball. It's the players around him and what they do when they don't have the ball. And you see how they're fighting to get Christian McCaffrey in the end zone. They, they wanted that man in the end zone mm -hmm. as bad as he wanted to be in the end zone. That's a team that's playing for one another, that trusts one another, that wants to see themselves be successful and doing everything they can defensively. They got locked down defenders. They got pressure on the quarterback. Charvarius Ward, who never gets enough credit. Get it, give me a book. Everybody blocking for him. Big time playmakers on the defensive side. Locked down corners, pressure on the inside, all pro linebackers. Now, can we get a linebacker that can cover? Because the best linebacker in the National Football League, all pro Fred, he can cover too. Mm -hmm. And then when he covers, then all pro Talanoa Hufanga going to get the ball, and he's going to say, let's have a little fun out here. Let's pitch it and go. They're out here having fun like they in the backyard. This is the National Football League. Mm. Skip, they got no pressure. This mm. is the best defense in football, and they just out there having a good time. They're having a good time. Let's pitch it. Let's play in the backyard. Let's have a good time. And that's what they're doing, and I appreciate them. I appreciate watching them. They're at an away game in Pittsburgh, pitching a ball up by however much, Skip, Okay, and yeah. I should have pointed out Richard did play for the 49ers. Yeah, 49ers. Yeah, yeah. yeah he go did ahead. go to the Super Bowl with the yeah. Niners. But Richard's right, though. Right. When you look at the body of work in one week, mm. I would say that the 49ers are slightly above the Dallas Cowboys because they did travel all the way from San Francisco to Pittsburgh, okay, and, and go into that house for a team that many people thought at the beginning of the year they would come out with hair on fire. That didn't happen. The defense shut them down. I give and you then that. The offensive side of the ball, Christian McCaffrey, Brock Purdy, Iuke and company, yep. they lit it up on mm -hmm. the offensive side of the ball. It just looks different than what we saw Dallas do mm. on both sides of the ball against the Giants. But doesn't mean that we'll see something, we won't see something different against the Jets. It, it, it doesn't mean that. It just mm. means that for week one, I'm saying in a preface of this way, okay. for week one, San Francisco is a better football team than the Dallas Cowboys if you're really going off of that. Okay. That defense that defense really did something special to Pittsburgh. The Giants offensively, they were already undermatched going into the game. We did not know what Pittsburgh was going to be. We propped Pittsburgh up, and San Francisco went in and took them to the woodshed. Okay, but we took a division rival to the I, woodshed, I and we burned down the woodshed. For the 12th straight time. Okay, but I'm just saying, that team won a playoff game last I, I, year. I okay? understand. And a Against lot of people Minnesota thought Vikings. they were going to be even better than the Pittsburgh a, a Steelers. Team that, a Minnesota Viking team that at Minnesota, Cooper Rush at went Minnesota. into Minnesota and hung 50 on them. Same yeah. team. Okay. Same I'm going to give both of you that the 49ers are a little better on yeah. offense because of that quarterback and because of that play caller. I have the highest regard. Richard knows him very well. I'm also going to give you George Kittle over any tight end in my tight end room because I got four, which means I effectively don't have one. But to your point, I'm going to piggyback off Keyshawn Johnson's wisdom from earlier in the show. Brock Purdy has been phenomenal mm -hmm. for a little while, yeah. and it's still a little while. Yes. Brock Purdy, I watched a whole lot more at Iowa State than I've even seen him now in pro football. And trust me, he started when he was a freshman at Iowa State, and I saw him play some stinkers <clears throat> because they weren't as good as the 49ers, obviously. Understood. <clears throat> the point is... I just swallowed a gnat. Oh, God, don't tell me that. Ah, you, guys, you, you guys are tricking me now. You got gnats on me. That's the only way you can beat me. Come on. Ah. Okay. The point is, to your point, watch. Brock Purdy's going to have a bad game. At some point, it happens to everybody. But he may not have a bad game, though, Skip. I think My he whole will. point is, when I say this, I say, I say the team defensively is their strength. Mm -hmm. Sure it the is. The defense yeah. may have a bad stinker here or there. Richard was on an all-time defense. They had bad games. Yeah, okay. They had bad games. I, 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 can't, played, I can't really remember. I played, one, but, I played yeah. on one of the all-time defenses, and I watched the bus and 
Pittsburgh yep. come in there and take us to the woodshed. Okay. So it, it happens. Okay, You're but not going to win them Purdy, all. Just watch. Brock Purdy, look at his QBR through his, his, all the games he's won. It's 68, skill zero to under. Trust me, it's off the charts. He'll have some bad game. Let's see how he responds. Let's see how he rebounds. But Let's this see is, if he but this picks is, himself but we, up. Remember, we're only talking about this past week. Okay. This, right. we're, we're reacting to this ranking based on one week. Okay. But Richard will week. concur with this. Stefan Gilmore is a difference maker for my team, and we stole him mm -hmm. from Indianapolis yeah. for a fifth-round pick. Yes. And the day it happened, I sat here just beating the table saying, that's it. That's the missing link. That's the final piece of the puzzle. We had nobody at the other corner. We had a parade of nobodies, and everybody went at the nobodies all last year. You can't do it anymore because Stefan Gilmore the other night had three Pass breakups and an it and a pick. Mm -hmm. And Richard knows him. Mm -hmm. He's he playing more with his head maybe than his body at this point, but he is top five to me. And he mm -hmm. and Diggs mm -hmm. as a tandem, I think they're the two best corners in the so league. So are you arguing and not arguing? Are you trying to communicate with me and Richard to say that the Cowboys defense yes. is better than the Niners? It's just a little better because okay. Micah, Micah is a little more explosive as a game wrecker than Nick Bo, what do you call him? Nick, Nicholas, Nick, well, Nick, Nicholas Nicholas John Bosa. Bosa. Nicholas so, John so, Bosa. Okay. So this is this little is what I'm more saying. explosive. Little but, more but game this record. poll, this ranking isn't saying about the defense. They're talking about the team. Okay, I got it. But so I've told you from put, the start, my team will go as far as my defense carries my team. Yeah, but so okay. that means that right. the same thing for the 49ers. The 49ers okay. are right. going to go okay. as far okay. as Okay, and I just Cowboys. said my defense is a little bit better because I got a three-headed monster but, at safety. They're, they're all three really you, good. I you, got you, what you, Go ahead, you, Richard. I hear you, Skip, but you, I, I, want, I want real facts. I keep hearing opinions. I, I remember I'm Micah Parsons. Facts. Micah Parsons was outstanding last year, but disappeared January and December. Yeah. I think he had one and a half sacks. Well, you mean December and January, January, through January and December. Hey, 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 you mean December and January because January yeah, comes yeah, December, December through January. I, I know. <laughs> right, right. You know what I meant. You know what I meant. You know what yeah. I meant. But what I'm saying is, at that point, that's money time. You always talk about playoff football. Playoff football is where your bread is buttered. Okay. Hey, playoff I, I football it. is where you We're gotta eat. And so, now. Nicholas John Bosa. Yeah. Nick, you, you just said Nicholas John Bosa. Defensive player of the year. He, he showed was. up in those playoffs. Deserved he showed up it. in December and January. That's it. why he won defensive okay. player of the year. He showed up. Hey. He showed up off the streets last week. R Richard. He showed up off the streets he last did. week. You okay. can't do that, it. Skip. This is the league. My pass rush is deeper than your pass rush because all of a sudden it's Demarcus Lawrence and Dorrance Armstrong and Dante Fowler and it oh Diggy Zua, and I can go on and on. They come from everywhere sparked by the double and triple teams that, that 11 from heaven draws. And then if I flip around to the other side, Brandon Cooks is going to change life for C.D. Lamb because he can run by people. And he was fearless the other night going over the middle catching Keyshawn balls. Am I right? Brandon he, got, he had 22 yards. Okay, but he caught some balls over the middle where I said, oh, that's, that's new, that's different for him. Okay, then Tony Pollard, I'm going to say it again. His yards per touch were slightly better than Christian McCaffrey's. I got nothing but respect for Christian, but Tony Pollard is a step, fa half a step faster did you see than that? Christian did you, McCaffrey. Did you, did you, I saw so, it. So, I saw did it. You see and I saw Ayuk. I saw you blast some corner. Yes. Yeah, he hey. annihilated so, him. So, Skip, yeah. Skip, Skip, Skip. Pollard, yeah. Pollard is not in the same ballpark or, or anything as yes, Christian McCaffrey. He is. Christian yes, McCaffrey, he, uh, you, he had more see. yards per carry. He you'll had your, more yards per touch because he touched it less because yeah. McCaffrey is an every down player. Okay. He's not a split, hey, I split times back. He's a full time back. I'm playing every single snap. Pollard was a split time back and now he's a full time back. He had 70 yards in the game. Okay. He had 70 yards in the game. But McCaffrey see, but, almost but, had but, 70 but, in but one carry. But see, like, Richard, I hear what you're saying, but, see, but you're but, saying Brandon Cooks, and C.D. Lamb, they combined for 99 yards. Brandon Ayuk. did Ayu, not need who, them. I was literally Brandon about to say, Ayu. Richard, <laughs> clearly, though, I, I, I agree with you sometimes on certain things, <laughs> but Tony Pollard is not no, no. far off from McCaffrey, okay? And then in terms of talking about the whole body of work, though, Richard, in the game, the, the Cowboys, as I said to you the other day, they didn't need to do certain things on offense. Their defense was spotted spotted the offense so mm. many points, you don't need to do certain things. Mm. You just need to get so, out the so, building. So, so the, the 49ers didn't blow the Pittsburgh Steelers out. 
Is yes, that what we're saying? Did. No, they, they did. blew them out. They, they blew them did. out. They didn't need to. They didn't need to perform the way they did. They just did because they're a good team. They, they performed good because they're a good team and they got good players. It's not about what you need to do. It's who you are. When you're good, you're good all the time. I, it's not I, when you I, need I, it. I prefer, I'm going to be good because I'm good. I prefer to dial it back and save some stuff and not show everything when I'm up 28 <laughs> nothing. That's just me. I, I'm going to let you know something. That's just I'm me. I'm going to let you know something. If I'm on the football field, field and my quarterback is like, mm, I'm not trying to complete nothing because we, we don't want to complete too many passes right now. We don't want them to see everything right now. Hey, I'm Tony Pollard. I don't want to break too many runs right now. They might, they might see it on tape. You know what the San Francisco 49ers did? They put their foot on the gas, and they put a foot on their neck, and they went. And they went offensively. That's why Christian McCaffrey, you could say this about Pollard, but he only— he hasn't had a time as a full-time back. He hasn't had a full season as a full-time back, just like you said with Brock Purdy. I need to see him a full-time back over I, 17 I, I, games. No, and I, under, I haven't and seen I, that. And I, and I understand that because Christian McCaffrey has a bigger body of work. That's why I said he is the better back. But I'm not going to sit up there and say that that's not interchangeable. If Tony Pollard was with the San Francisco 49ers, the 49ers wouldn't miss a beat on offense in the backfield. Mm. That's just my opinion. Mm. And, Richard, last quick I, point. I, I, Go I, ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead, Skip. All right. Do not underestimate. Remember, you heard it here first. Deuce Vaughn will change life as the season starts to wear on on offense. Along with Cavante Turpin, they are electric. They are quick. They what did are, Deuce Vaughn do? Uh, he, he, again, they, they didn't even get any run because they were not needed he the other it. night. He ran it. He ran it. Okay. He ran it. Watch. He just didn't just get watch. I got the Niners as one based on week one. I got the Cowboys as two based on week one. Okay. Yeah, all right, Skip. You'll see. You'll see. You're right in the okay. mix, man. Up next, do the Jets have any chance of saving their season? Keyshawn says... No mercy. No mercy. No mercy. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.